Hi guys, this is Linda here. And um, I'm going to do an article on the Affordable Care Act and, and, Native, and Native Americans or Indians. Um, but first I'd like to thank 2010 for sending me this. I appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, I do. I have thought on this many days of what they are doing and um, it disturbs me greatly. And um, I'm going to show this article to you. Hold on. Let's get it over here. I'm sorry about the hand. Uh, I'm not trying to... Okay. Ex it's exclusive. Um, health reforms penalize some Indians. Now, I'm going to scroll down here. I was reading this. This is in the President Obama's uh, Health Care Act, or Obamacare. Um, this is what they're going to they're gonna make uh, Native Americans do. Even though this is against the treaties, um, they will have to buy their own health insurance policies or pay $695 fine from the Internal Revenue Service unless they can prove that they are Indian enough to claim one of few exemptions allowed under the Affordable Care Act mandate that all Americans carry insurance. Now, the writer of this says, I'm no less Indian than I was yesterday, and just because the definition of who is Indian got changed in the law doesn't mean that it's fair for people to be penalized. Now, I know a lot of you should, are saying, you know, well, if we've got to do it, you've got to do it. But you've got to understand, Native Americans are still considered prisoners of war. And, um, and with the prisoner of war act upon them and treaties not being followed i actually in my heart right now believe with what how they've displaced indians and put them in indian schools and taken children i mean if you knew some of the things they really did on indian reservations and the bodies that are popping up in canada um you would um it would it would kind of frighten you now there are 560 tribes recognized by the U.S. Bureau of Indian Affairs. So, but yet, yeah, more, more than 100 tribes nationwide are, are recognized by states only and not the federal government. Um, and, and most of these have become corporations, I, I must tell you, the Indians have, which is scary because they're, they're doing things for, they, they should have just stayed sovereign and kept fighting. Um, the fighting spirit would have caught on for everybody, I think. I think we're in a very gray area for everyone. And I'm not white bashing or African American bashing or anybody bashing. I'm just saying the, the federal government has never kept its word on anything. Look at us, um, Native Americans. Also, um, I'm going to leave this article. I'm just going to tell you something real quick. Um, I have been to the Indian tribal health care centers <laughs> I, they're they're um dentist and um they actually rec recommended the guy seemed like he could have cared less about who i was what i was and and kind of treated me i would say st substandard i actually now interview doctors or dentists before i go to them <laughs> I, I make an appointment and kind of interview them and feel them out and i tell them why i'm there afterwards and if I don't like them, I don't go back. And I believe that every human being on this earth should be able to do that. We're not animals, and nobody out there is. And somehow we've got to unite. Maybe all of us should say, no, we're not participating. And um, go a holistic way. Forget this, this Affordable Care Act. It's really got me disturbed. Um, because some villages in, in Alaska, they're, they, now believe, get this, the Eskimos are going to have to prove theirs. By a, um, they've really going to go through some hardships up in Alaska by this, um, because of the documentation they're going to have to show if you're Eskimo, uh, because they're comprised of tiny villages only accessible by plane or boat. She raises the possibility that Native people would have to get extra documentation to prove they qualify. People have historically been able to use their federal tribal blood quantum cards to get. IHS health services, but they're not that good of services, I'm just going to tell you, but at least it's something. But um, but that alone is no longer enough to qualify for the tax exemption under the Affordable Care Act. In addition, many Alaskan Natives who were born after December 1971 
are prohibited from enrolling in their family's tribal corporation, even if all four grandparents are Alaska Native, she added. Um, are Americans first people really being forced yet again to prove our Indianness? she said through tears on a recent conference call with federal agencies. Every single day in our own communities, we have to fight to demonstrate that we are still here, that we still exist. We should be believed that what your parents and grandparents say you are, you are. Now, this is really a tragedy in Alaska because um, they do have a hard time getting around. So this is rather, and look, poverty is, the highest poverty rate is on, with Native Americans. And um, I just think that maybe all of us as a nation should stand up, whatever your position or whoever you voted for, like I said, I don't vote, should say no. We're not going to do this. And with this IRS scam, I, I think that it was supposed to be voluntary anyway. Maybe we should just voluntarily never pay again. So anyway, I wanted to thank, thank you for sending this to me, um, 210. And um, I'm really disturbed over this. I'm going to dig farther into this and let people know. But now Native Americans are, are not Native American enough to even get one little thing off their treaty. So... Um, Peace and love to everybody, and um, I think that if the Native Americans could unite and stand together, and maybe go read the Prophecy of the Seven Fires, I'll even link it for some of you, and, and see where you are, you might could lead a nation into some freedom and, and unveil an illusion. Anyway, peace and love to everyone, and uh, Linda's out.